Hi everyone! Today I wanted to show you my pocket size traveler's notebooks that I have from Webster's Pages and I also wanted to show you a completed insert that I have used to do the Reset Girls Listers Get a List. So as you can see I have two of their pocket size traveler's notebooks. I got this one and I liked it so much I thought what the heck I will put a second cover on my Christmas list. So this is the one I purchased to check it out because I really liked how um, it had this kind of layered detail. And so this was my first one and it's empty right now because I'm not using it. I'm using the other one. But I really liked this pink color um, and I liked the suede texture a lot. And it's pretty well made. I did read that there were some problems like this, you know, it's kind of got like a weird bump in it. But mine happened to be on the back and I took a chance and the one that I ordered um, happened to come pretty nice. So anyway, that was my first one. Then, because I liked it so much, I put another one on my Christmas list and my brother happened to get it for me as my present. And I was so excited because I had wanted this um, floral one for a while and I just think the colors are so pretty. So. I'll just give you a quick look at it inside. Um, I have been using this in the winter. Um, this first insert I used, and it actually, I've, I've paper clipped it together. This is my sort of burn notebook. I just used it to take notes on our Christmas things, our Christmas plans. Um, this is, you know, it's just a little insert that I made out of inexpensive graph paper. And I've just used the beautiful Webster's Pages paper to make um, sort of like a cover for it. This insert is from Michael's. The, this is the actual insert. And it is just a calendar insert that I haven't used because I don't really plan on the pocket size, but I had it so I just kind of decorated it up and I also made kind of a um, cover for that. So if you're wondering, you can see that it is definitely smaller than the passport size. This is my passport zipper pouch that I have used in a passport TN before. So it's definitely, there's a size difference, but since I just use this to carry extra things in, I don't mind that it's a little bit smaller. Now, this is the insert I'm gonna do a flip through of and I'm gonna take it out to show you. Let's see where the middle is, here's the middle. So anyway, this is the TN. It's really pretty. I really like it. It's a pretty good quality. I've only had it since Christmas, but I'm really happy with it. So for this, this is the insert that came with the cover, and I wanted to do something special with it because um, my brother gave it to me as a gift. So I covered the actual um, insert. I kind of like to make these kind of insert wraps and I'm going to keep this because I like the map a lot and I will probably uh, reuse that. So this is the cover that comes with your traveler's notebook when you purchase it. It's blank uh, with kind of cream pages and it has um, hello embossed on it but I covered it up obviously. Um, so this is like I said my list just got a list journal. And these are using the, oh, so I saved the tag from the gift that I got. And this, these, um, these labels are what I got from the Listers Got a List website. They, these sets were free. These ones with the, that are, they're all written in these labels. And I think it, it just makes the project look really pretty. I just decorated this with some more Webster's Pages uh, cut aparts. And throughout, I've used a variety of supplies. A lot of them are from Webster's Pages. Um, but of course, all of these that have um, a little design printed on, they are all from the Reset Girl. And so the way it's set up is that there is a little question or a little um, prompt for each day. And then I, at the beginning of the month, I cut all of these out and I kind of pre-decorate my pages just so that I'm mainly doing the writing each day. That way I don't have to worry about 
decorating it because I have been less successful in completing the project in the months and doing it as sort of my daily creative exercise. Um, you know, my daily, I guess it's not create a daily, daily creative exercise if you're already pre-decorating the pages. It's more like it's a daily sort of quick journal. So like I said, I usually decorate the pages at the beginning of the month and I attach all of the prompts. And then I go in and I answer the questions each day throughout the month. And I like to use stamping when possible and this is a great way to use up your little bits and bobs, extra bits of washi tape, these were some printables from Coco Daisy that didn't quite print right. This was supposed to be a different color, but I didn't want to throw it away because they were so pretty. So I still used them. And I have used some post-it notes to, um, to cover some things for privacy. So this is where, Jan uh, where February starts. My daughter drew this picture and I always have the kids write their name and date it whenever they draw me a picture. And I'm using a lot of Happy Planner stickers um, as my decorations. Like this is from Happy Planner. Um, this, this, that's all Happy Planner stuff. And then I will go back and fill in the last names of my friends, but I didn't want to write them on, um, you know, and then publicly share it. And um, this has like some interactive. This is the tag that I can pull out. And it's a fun way to use your washi tape, your random stickers. You can do some fussy cutting for little things. I just think it's a really fun project. I, you know, if I'm not up to doing a whole journaling uh, entry or I just want to, you know, just jot a couple things. And this project is more about me than about my kids. So it's a nice project because, you know, maybe one day they'll look back at it too. Now I did censor some of the pages because they had some personal things on it. So I just paper, that's why those are paper clipped together. And then this is my brother who gave this to me. So I just wrote a little reason in the back why, and I finished it out with a quote. And now I have January and February done. So I hope you like this quick little flip through of my uh, Lister's Got a List notebook. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.